In this video, I'll show you how to attach an ice axe to your backpack. We'll also discuss three essential considerations when putting an ice axe on your pack. Whether you're an experienced climber or just starting out, an ice axe can be a valuable tool for safety and stability when climbing on snow and ice. It is often used in the mountains on steep terrain to aid in the ascent and descent. Ice axes are also utilized when traveling on glaciers and can be used to arrest, that is stop, a fall. But on your approach to this type of terrain, how can you carry the ice axe on your backpack? To start, locate the gear loops or ice axe loops on the bottom side of your pack. If you're in the market for a new backpack, make sure that it comes with these loops. There should also be some stretchy paracord higher up the pack like this for attaching the shaft of the ice axe. These loops can also come in handy for attaching trekking poles. You want the ice axe to end up in this position on the back of your pack, where the pick is pointing inward. This is because it likely presents more of a hazard to yourself and others if the pick is pointing outward. Next, flip it over 180 degrees, bringing the head of the ice axe up top still with the pick pointing in and now the spike pointing down. Now place the spike through the top of the gear loop, pulling the shaft all the way through until it can't go any further. If your gear loops are large enough, you can secure this placement further by twisting the ice axe a couple of times. Just make sure the pick is still pointing inward when you're done. Then pull the shaft of the ice axe back up onto the backpack and secure it using that stretchy paracord. And this is good to practice with gloves on, as you will likely be doing it that way on your climb. Now here it is on the other side so you can see it again. And I'll take this quick opportunity to say that this video was more challenging to make than I anticipated. Primarily because my camera battery kept dying in the below zero temps. So it would mean a lot to me if you'd consider tapping that like button. It helps me know that the effort was worth it and you are indeed getting value out of this video. Now I've got three things that are key for you to consider when attaching an ice axe in this way. Number one, if you want additional protection for you and your gear, rubber protectors or covers for the pick and spike of your ice axe are a great idea. For example, down jackets and ice axes don't mix well. And you can keep these on when storing or transporting your gear. Number two, there may be some concern with this method of attachment if the spike of your ice axe is pointing out well above the top of your backpack. It's conceivable that this could present a hazard to yourself or another climber near you. This can often be mitigated by having a moderate to large size pack and opting for an ice axe of a moderate to short length. Here I'm using the Deuter Air Contact Light 65 plus 10 liter backpack, a fairly sizable pack, the Petzl Summit 59 centimeter ice axe, and the Black Diamond Venom Hammer 50 centimeter ice axe. If your objective has you using a smaller pack, or you have an ice axe with a longer shaft, you might consider a different option like attaching it with the compression straps on the side of your backpack. Now on to number three, which is think about your transition to more hazardous terrain. What we've covered in this video is generally considered the most secure way to store your ice axe when it's going to be stowed for several hours on your approach. Then you'll need a safe and flat or reasonably angled area to take your backpack off and retrieve the ice axe once you are about to transition into steeper or glaciated terrain. There are some techniques for carrying an ice axe that allow you to stow it away for a shorter period of time. This can help you keep it at the ready when it needs to be quickly accessible. Now that you know how to stow an ice axe, you're going to love this next video about a critical descent skill you can start practicing today. It will help you train your body and mind to safely descend a mountain. My name is August and I hope to see you over in that next video.